Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this HTC One M8 and I have been using this phone now for two weeks exactly and I just wanted to give you my impression. This is not a formal review kind of a thing but I have just made some points and I just wanted to talk about them yeah, because I've used it for now two weeks and first let's talk about the build quality. The build quality of this HTC One M8 is exceptional. Just look at it, the metal build quality and I have to say it's the best looking Android phone that I have used. It's the backside is almost completely metal and the feel factor is pretty good. Yes, it's a little bit long and personally it took me about four or five days to get used to it and I'm happy with it. Yes, I don't like the placement. Uh, we have the, what do you say, volume rocker over here and the power button is here at the top. I don't like that, uh, but luckily uh, this phone does have gestures. Uh, and also I made another video about uh, double tap to go uh, make it go to sleep so you don't have to use this power button uh, so you can just use the gestures uh, so overall I will like the build quality it is excellent and uh, let me next talk about this uh, uh, dual speakers that uh, HTC likes to call uh, boom sound uh, all a lot of other reviewers are saying that uh, it's pretty loud uh, I wouldn't say it's the loudest I've seen on a Android device but uh, the clarity is there and also it does give you that little bit of bass which is not found on a uh, smartphone so for example when I was playing some games etc you just hold the phone like this and because it has dual speakers you get that stereo effect and with bass so in gaming uh, I would say I had the best experience while gaming uh, and largely it's attributed to the boom sound and also this phone is very powerful phone it's one of the fastest android phones that i have used i've also used lately the galaxy s5 exynos version and i have to say this one is faster than that because this uh, it uses that custom ui that is sense 6 it's very fluid to operate there's no lagginess or anything like that i would say it's one of the fastest android phones that i have used till date i haven't tested the xperia z2 till now so i can't comment about it but overall i would say it's almost as fast as nexus 5 and i believe nexus 5 is among the fastest android phones that i have tested i must have tested about 90 odd android phones so in terms of responsiveness very responsive phone so uh, you won't be uh, seeing any things like lagginess or anything like that uh, next thing uh, that is there htc did uh, provide this uh, tpu case uh, with this device and i generally don't like to use uh, phones with the, any cases and I haven't used uh, a case with this one but I didn't and I do take a good care of my phones uh, and I haven't dropped this phone yet nothing like that but still I notice minor scuffings here on this chrome finish actually the finish of this phone is very nice uh, but I do notice minor scuffing so in the long term yes uh, you might have to use a case with this device so that's a con and again uh, with the case it actually does not look that great let me put in back the case and see now how it looks so yeah so that can be an issue you might have to use a case uh, with this device the back is fine but this chrome finish at the edges that they have I have two scuffings here so that's about it uh, now coming to one biggest gripe that I have with this phone is the camera yes we have that duo camera you get some fancy effects like that all that forget about that let's talk about the image quality uh, it's just a 4 megapixel camera that uh, HTC likes to call it as ultra pixel and uh, I won't say it's the worst camera that I've seen but again it's far from the best and when you're paying top money it's among the you pay a lot for these phones uh, you're not getting the best camera and uh, I also had the Galaxy S5 and if you compare it side by side definitely the Galaxy S5 camera is a lot better one big problem that I had with this camera is that outdoors many of the phones uh, do pretty well in broad daylight uh, but problem with this one was that when you keep it in auto focusing the exposure was all over the place and even in very bright lights this uh, the phone was not taking that great pictures yes i was able to get some decent pictures if i take two three snapshots but randomly in auto focusing it was all over the place the exposure was very bad i hope htc can fix it with a software update but when we move to indoor photography and low lighting areas i feel that the camera is pretty good and in some cases it did much better than the galaxy s5 in low lighting so yes the camera is kind of a mix but again if you're a person who's looking for the best camera experience then definitely this htc 1m8 might not be for you uh, 
one place I did not like this HTC One M8 is in the video recording department. Yes, it can record video up to 1080p, that's full HD. But I feel that uh, HTC uh, omitted the optical image stabilization on this. And generally, the video quality that I got with this one was not that great. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that department. I don't know if that can be solved with future Android updates. But as of now, I'm not very happy with the camera and also the video recording performance of this HTC One M8. So uh, let's, uh, now let's uh, talk about the battery life. Here I'm really, really impressed with this one. This uh, has a 2600 milliampere battery, milliamp hour, and on paper it does not look that great. But I have to say the battery life that I'm getting on this one is excellent. It can easily last over 24 hours with kind of moderate to heavy usage. And that is very good. And uh, if you're a light user, it will last you easily for about two days. Uh, and this is not just my experience because one of my friends who was using the Note 3 also upgraded to this device. And he also says that the battery life on this is very good. So in terms of battery life, uh, HTC did great uh, with its optimi optimization. So uh, in battery life, you shouldn't be worried about this device. Now, uh, so these are some of my impressions uh, about this HTC One M8. Overall, I would say I'm really impressed with this device and I'm going to use this as my primary uh, phone. It's, it's that good, uh, the devices. Uh, the only con is that if you are too much worried about the camera and you take a lot of pictures, then definitely this might not be the phone for you. Again, I'll be posting my full review like the camera review, etc. on my channel. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you found this uh, Quick impressions video about the HTC One M8 uh, helpful. Thank you for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.